So I'm here with Justin and Sue from Country Style Dashens. And uh, first of all, congratulations to you both on your award. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And uh, Justin, if we could just start off with a brief overview of what the business is all about. Um, so Sue and I created Country Style Dashens to really for our love of dogs. And we felt that we could bring something special to the table and um, help, help the dogs and the whole breeding um, vicinity, to be honest. And, uh, I mean, what sort of sets your, your, your business apart from other breeders, because there's a lot of breeders in the UK, is the level of care that you offer um, these puppies from, a, from, from the day they're born. Is that right? Yeah, sure. I mean, if we go straight to the puppies, I mean, the, the, the level of care is, is fundamental and is paramount in our business. So, you know, we spend an awful lot of time. Sue, Sue does a lot of the whelping. Um, even though I've come from a farming background and I've, you know, farmed and, you know, lambed thousands of sheep and all this sort of stuff, when it comes down to the dogs, I get the edge, I get nervous. And um, I think because, you know, we, we, we love them so much, if there's ever a problem, you know, I almost fall apart. So Sue is much better at that side of it than I am, to be honest. And um, she does all that care. Um, and like I said, you know, it's paramount to the business. We... We put a lot of time and effort into the puppies, making sure that they're balanced, happy, and um, you know when they go to the new homes, they 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 go there as and they they're like they've been there for a long time. Let's put it that way. So when they arrive, you know they they go in and they're the sock pulling, you know toe crunching little <laughs> monkeys that you want, not not the ones that come in and sort of run under the table and we on the floor, you know, and they're all shaking right. and stuff like that. So yeah, it's very important that that we uh, we've created that that style of puppy. And uh, you mentioned the new homes. So in terms of the process on that side, how do you um, source them, uh, you know, your your customers and make sure that they're the right fit? So uh, initially, we, we used to do it through so, a lot through social media. Um, now it's 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 not you know you're not able to do that. So we've got a, um, a fantastic website, um, Country Style Dash Hands website. We get all of our inquiries through there. Um, you know, I've been doing it long enough to understand that you know 95% of people that ring me are lovely people. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's five percent that that. Uh, aren't so nice let's put it like that so um, I'm very good at diagnosing who's who and mm -hmm. what's what from a phone call I don't I don't like to do it over email I, I push all my clients to pick up the phone for potential clients anyway so that I can talk to them and I just feel what's going on I ask them particular questions about their home the environment I get them to send me videos and things like that which are real you know, yeah. there's no point in me sending out a, um, you know, a, a, a pro forma letter of, you know, 50 questions because they could write down anything they want. Yeah. You know, I just have to go on how I feel. You know, have they had dogs before? Do they know about the dash hand? You know, yeah. all these kind of different questions. But not, you know, I, it, it's not an interrogation. I just, I just feel my way through it. Yeah. If I feel comfortable with them and they feel comfortable with me, then away we go. You know, we sell all of our puppies, well, pretty much 95% of our puppies on a pre-deposit basis. Okay. So, you know, the, the puppies are sold before they're born. Okay, yeah. okay. Simple. Yeah. Um, that's, that's how popular country style dash hands is. And um, it's always worked really well. And, uh, I mean, the reputation that you've built is, it has to be largely through the trust as well. And uh, uh, as much as you've got to find the right fit in terms of uh, a dog owner, you've got to um, be uh, compliant in everything that, that you do. Because, obviously, the, injuries, uh, the industry's had a bit of controversy, hasn't it, in, in, some, in some aspects. And some breeders aren't as good as others or as compliant as others. And it's important that... that Country style dash ons, you know, really follows all those regulations, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely paramount, you know, and we have to. You know, we're we're a five star breeder. You know, we've we've jumped through you know many many hoops and worked hours and hours and mm. and spent you know a huge amount of money and invested a lot of money into our home um, and into the environment where our dogs live to create you know the dogs and puppies that we've got under the legislation that we have to adhere to. So, yeah, it's, it's really, really important. And, um, you know, it's just a shame that the whole of the UK doesn't have to do it. And um, finally, I just wanted to ask about um, the Dash Hound itself and what type of dog is it and what can people expect from, from that sort of dog, that sort of um, breed? It's a dog like its owner. <laughs> <laughs> it's short. <laughs> it's got a big chest, <laughs> little legs. Yeah, and it's got a lot of... Um, and loving. It's loving, yeah, yeah, it's loving. So, yeah. Yeah, it's dog like its owner. 
but yeah, I mean, re realistically, it, it, it's a truly lovely dog. You know, we used to breed bigger breeds, uh, Dobermans at one point and okay. stuff like that. So we've gone completely the other way. Um, it's just a lot of dog in a small body. You know, they're, they're, they're not just what people think, oh, it's got little legs, so we just got to pick it up. It doesn't need much exercise and all this sort of stuff. It, it does, you know, we're lucky with our environment. We've got a big farm behind us and everything else. We take yeah. all the dash hands, come out every day on walks, you know, wind, rain or shine. You know, they swim. They go through the hedges. They hunt with the with the um, the other dogs, yeah. and you know, so they live a real life. Yeah. You know, I don't have them on leads. So I stop them on the whistle. I recall them on the whistle. Mm. Um, yeah. So they got a great life, and then they come home and they go by the fire, and you know, they tip upside down and they sleep. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you very I much. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on your award again, <clears throat> of course, and uh, thanks very much for speaking to us today. Okay. Thank you very much.